Hey everybody, this is Pablo with Mattress Makers. In this episode of Mattressology, we're gonna talk about the difference between latex hybrid mattresses versus full latex mattresses, and which one might be the right one for you. So let's go. So if you guys have watched any of our videos or been on our website, you know we're big fans of latex. In our opinion, it's probably the best material, at least one of the best materials to be used in mattresses. And the reason why is because as I did in one of our past videos is because of the durability of latex, it does last so much longer. And also because of the chemical free aspect, at least because it's natural, you're not breathing any of the junk like you would on polyurethane. So those are like the two big reasons why we see people going with latex mattresses and why we're big fans of it. But if you're looking to be, um, to go more natural, and if you're looking for something that's gonna last you a lot, a lot longer, um, there are some options. You know, some people go with 100% all latex mattress, other people choose to go with a hybrid. So, so which one to go with? And hybrids, they're fairly new on the scene. Probably in the last 10 years, they started getting a lot more traction. Latex mattresses, they've been around since at least the 30s. I mean, I remember, you know, back in the day when I was doing deliveries um, for our factory that I would pick up old latex mattresses that were done like in the 60s and 70s. And um, yeah, I wish I would have kept kept those or at least done some videos on those because um yeah those ones were they lasted forever but um but now we're seeing a lot more mattresses going towards the hybrid route so which one is the right one for you or which one's better because they are going to have different qualities they are going to be um there's some pros and cons on both of them but i would say if you're looking for something natural if you're looking for something that's going to be durable um, then you could go with either one. If those are like the, the two main issues um, and factors for you when looking for a new mattress, then both of those are gonna be winners. But now there are, we have five other points that we go by that, and that will determine if it's the right mattress. And if you guys have seen our past videos, you know the big three are the comfort and pressure relief of a mattress, the support, of the mattress, how how is it giving you um, back support? And also how long is it gonna hold that feel, the durability. So comfort, support, and durability. But then there are, t there are a few other factors that we'll um, take into account, if all things being equal on those guys. And that's gonna be the temperature of the of the mattress, like how how well it breathes. And also if you're if you sleep with another person, the, the motion separation. And then as an added bonus, which does play a factor sometimes for, for people, is the edge support. So now, real quick, what is the difference between the two? Um, as you can see, all latex mattress is, they're very similar, but the main difference is that the support layer on an all latex mattress is usually gonna be a Dunlop layer, or at least a firmer latex layer. That's the support layer of an all latex mattress. And it's usually about six inches um, thick. Some are gonna be, you know, multi-layered, but, but that's usually gonna be a, a, a Dunlop um, support layer. Hybrid mattresses, the support layer is gonna be coils. We prefer to go with the pocketed springs, pocketed coils, because they do um, feel better and they do support you better. And, but now, now as far as the, the comfort and pressure relief, the first factor, now, as you know, comfort subjective. Some people might love an all latex mattress. Other people might love a hybrid mattress as far as the bounce, but an all latex mattress is gonna be a bit more dense. It's gonna have a little bit more stability. Um, now, pressure relief, it is gonna, one feedback we get from customers that go with an all latex mattress, if they go with a softer one, sometimes what happens is if you have a softer top on it, if the, the top layer is a little bit of a less dense um, latex, then you can tend to bottom out a little bit more so and hit that bottom layer. Some people could feel that, you know, especially side sleepers. If you sleep on your side, you could tend to bottom out a little bit, you know, at least, you know, when your weight is concentrated on one spot or when you're sitting down, you could feel it. With a hybrid mattress, for side sleepers, hybrid mattresses tend to absorb your weight a little bit better because the coils tend to flex better. Now, this is, I'm gonna show you turn it to the side because this is where most, this is the center part of the coil system, which is a little bit softer than the outer firmer coils. But with the, with the support layer, 
the coils tend to flex a little bit better, especially for a size sleeper. Kind of like a shock absorber, it does absorb your weight a little bit better. So between the two, between the comfort and pressure relief, for size sleepers, pressure relief, most of the time, not everybody, but most of the time, side sleepers tend to like the the hybrids a little bit better because the coils tend to absorb your weight a little bit more so on a fair if you like on a fur mattress though if you want something harder a little bit more stable then i would say uh an all latex bed may be the be a better way to go for you so so that's um the first factor comfort of pressure relief now the second is support is back support Back support is also a very personal thing. It's not gonna be, um, I mean, it's not as cut and dry as some people make it. Some people's back is supported better on a full latex mattress and other people just tend to respond better on a, on a pocketed coil on a hybrid mattress. And I've seen it both. I've seen people, you know, we've tried to get it right with people who have been on one or the other. And once we've changed the support layer, it's like, nine day difference. So there is a big difference on the way it feels and the way it supports you. But um, generally speaking, again, back sleepers, um, I mean, I've had identical twins in here and they have the same body type and they both have had, they both like different firmnesses and they, one like latex, one like hybrids and they both had, um, so it was just, is really hard to, to, pinpoint which one was better for them. So that is where you have to go into the store and kind of see how it fills in your gap, how it fills in like the small of your back in the lumbar area. And if you sleep on your side or your back, it is gonna support you a little bit differently. So that's really hard to determine as just across the board. It is, um, if anybody says one is gonna be better than the other, then they're not telling you the whole story. Um, you know, stomach sleepers tend to go with something more on the firmer side, but other than that, um, you have to try it out. You know, people with back support tend or back issues. Um, I have had people with terrible back issues go with an all latex bed. I've also had people with terrible back issues do well with a hybrid. So that I, I'm, I cannot make a clear cut determination between which one's better. Durability. Also, same thing, durability is going to be, um, they're both gonna be durable. Like they've done compression tests on both of them, on coils and and coils and coils latex, and they both wear at about the same rate. Um, I wouldn't say one is gonna be overwhelmingly better if I had to choose, and a lot of it, de it depends on the type of coil that is being used. Now the coils that we use, we use a leg and a plat, it's a comfort core um, quantum edge coil, and they're tempered coils. They actually do last quite a while. And if there's one part of the mattress that is going to break down first, it's usually the top layer of the mattress. So, and, but they're gonna have both of them. So durability wise, they're both gonna wear about the same rate. If I had to pick, I would say the, the coils, the, the, the um, pocketed coil mattress hybrid will last a little bit longer because it absorbs your weight. There's gonna be less punishment for the most part on the top layer than, um, than you know, with a coil system because the coils, like I said, act like a shock, shock absorber. So they do take some of that punishment off the, the top layer where this one is gonna have a little bit more punishment. So between the two, they're both, both very close. But if I had to pick a winner, I would say the hybrid will last you a little bit longer. So now we're gonna talk about the temperature factor. Now, you know, the comfort, support, durability, they're both very close. I'm not gonna say one's overwhelmingly better than the other. They're both, but now where it does start to separate a little bit is the cool factor, the temperature factor. So if you're a hot sleeper, really what you want is breathability. You want your mattress to breathe. You want it airflow. So, um, I would say that if that is the case, there is a clear cut winner there. I would pick the, the hybrid because the hybrid with coils, you get more airflow. Air passes through it. You know, it's not as dense as an all latex mattress. So with an all latex mattress, it is gonna be a more, bit more dense. You're not gonna get as much airflow. And not that, air, not that latex is gonna get hot, but it is gonna not breathe as well as a hybrid mattress, one with pocketed springs. So, 
So yeah, if that is the case, I would do, if, if, you're, if you're a hot sleeper and that is one of the biggest factors for you is sleeping cool, then I would definitely choose a hybrid mattress. So, so that's number four. Now, number five is the motion separation for couples. If you sleep with another person, which one is gonna be better? Now, if you're on a king size mattress, don't even worry about it. You're gonna be far enough that you're not gonna feel the other person move as much. But if you're on a queen size, that's gonna be, you're a little bit closer together, so that might be more of a factor. Now, with the pocket of springs, they're independent. We use independent coils. Only the coils that you're on are gonna move. So it's like an independent suspension. You know, if you guys remember years ago when they had that bowling ball commercial, you know, they dropped the bowling ball and the pins don't move. You know, I mean, that's one of the big advantages of a pocketed coil. So these are great for couples, great for motion separation. Um, so on a scale of one to 10, I would give latex hybrids a, probably a good eight and a half to nine, a strong eight and a half or nine on, on the motion separation scale. Full latex, if you go with a full latex bed on a queen size, you're gonna get, they're pretty good as well. Um, I would probably give these guys a little bit of an advantage over the hybrids, but not much. I would say closer to a nine, a strong nine, not a 10. Memory foam, I'll give memory foam a 10. Memory foam is great with motion separation, but latex, I'll give it a slight little advantage over the, the pocket of springs. But if you're a sensitive, like if you're a very sensitive a sleeper and all the other factors are the same for you, then I would say you may want to go with an all latex mattress if you're, if you're a very light sleeper and the motion in, disturbs you. But if motion disturbs you too, there's other reasons why the mattress may move. You might want to check the support, like what your mattress is sitting on. So like the frame or the, or the, the foundation that it's on, that will also play actually a huge factor in the, um, the motion separation. So, so those are the first five. Now, uh, the bonus one, which is noticeable to some people, if, especially if they sit at the edge of the bed, is the edge support. So, if, so with, as you can see with latex um, hybrids, the pocketed coils, these blue coils around the perimeter, we actually make them firmer. They actually are firmer coils around the edge. They're tighter together, so they do have a better edge support. A lot of companies use foam encasement around the edge, which tends to break down over time. An edge to edge coil is actually quite a bit better than a, than a full um, foam encased mattress. With a full latex mattress, we really don't put much edge support on there. I mean, if you're sitting at the edge, you're gonna notice it. You know, it will sink down more. But the cool thing is with latex, when you're lying down on the mattress, when your, your weight is spread out, you're not gonna really feel it. You're not gonna feel like you're gonna roll off. At least most of the time, you should not feel like you're gonna roll off the bed. But, um, but if edge is, is super important to you, where you sit at the edge of the bed a lot, then a latex hybrid mattress may be the way to go because I would give that an, an advantage if the latex hybrid that you're looking at has that extra reinforced edge. So that is our summary between a full latex mattress versus a latex hybrid. If you have any any question, I hope this helped you guys. You know, if you guys are torn between the two because I see people on, all the time that they're stuck between which one they should go with. So. So if you guys have any questions, you guys can put them in the comments below. You guys can give us a call or, or reach out to us on our website. And as I say in every video, if you guys are looking, you just started your mattress shopping journey, you could download our mattress shopping guide. It breaks down um, tips on mattress shopping and also um, gives you, tells you about mistakes not to make when mattress shopping. So hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. Sleep well.